pupil examination is an essential part of the neurologic exam. Manual pupil measurements are subjective and prone to error and inter-examiner variability. The pupilometer is a simple-to-use handheld device that provides accurate, reliable, and objective pupil size and reactivity data, independent of examiner. Most importantly, the pupilometer expresses pupil reactivity numerically, so that now, for the first time ever, both pupil size and reactivity can be trended for changes, just like other vital signs. The most effective way to use the pupilometer is to establish the earliest possible baseline measurement with the first neurological exam when the patient is admitted into the ICU, the emergency department, or the post-anesthesia care unit, and then trend for changes over time following standard pupil assessment protocol. Automated pupilometry provides accurate, reliable, and objective pupil measurement, independent of the examiner. By removing subjectivity from pupillary evaluation, the NPI 200 pupilometer provides benefits to clinicians and patients through its ability to detect subtle pupil changes and to trend these changes over time. The NPI 200 pupilometer system consists of the pupilometer, the charging station, a power supply, the smart guard. Optional components include the barcode scanner and the smart guard reader required when the pupillometer data is integrated into the patient's electronic medical record. Connect the power supply to the NPI 200 charging station, then plug into a power outlet. The green light illuminated at the base of the NPI 200 charging station indicates power is established. To turn on the NPI 200, Press and hold the Up button on the device. When not in use, it is recommended the device remain powered on and seated in the NPI 200 charging station. If the NPI 200 is not in the charging station, to conserve battery life, the pupillometer will go into sleep mode after 5 minutes. To wake up the display, simply tap the touch screen, push any button, or return it to the charging station. If the NPI 200 is left off the charging station for longer periods, the pupillometer will power down after 30 minutes. To turn it back on, simply press and hold the up button for a few seconds or return it to the charging station. Open a new disposable smart guard. The smart guard will be used on the same patient for the length of the patient's admission. The smart guard has an RFID memory tag that stores 168 paired pupil measurements, facilitating upload to the patient's electronic medical record. First, attach the patient smart guard to the pupillometer by placing it over the camera lens with the foam pad facing outward at the six o'clock position. Gently squeeze the smart guard side tabs to position onto the NPI 200 pupillometer. There will be an audible click when the smart guard is properly positioned. Prior to the first patient measurement, the patient ID must be entered properly into the smart guard using either the barcode scanner or manual entry of the patient ID. The patient ID is only required to be entered into the smart guard on the initial setup only. When using the barcode scanner to enter the patient ID, the NPI 200 pupillometer must first be paired to the Neuroptics barcode scanner. Connect the barcode scanner seated in its charging cradle to the power supply and plug into a power outlet. Turn on the barcode scanner by pressing and holding the button until an audible beep is heard and a blue light on the device flashes. On the NPI 200, select barcode scanner. Position the barcode scanner next to the NPI 200. The NPI 200 will display Connecting on the touchscreen. Once successfully paired, the touchscreen will prompt when the device is ready to scan the patient ID barcode. The patient ID will now appear on the NPI 200 touchscreen. Confirm the patient information is correct and select Accept. The NPI 200 will display the patient ID number and read Ready to Scan. To input the patient ID into the smart guard manually, Press Manual Entry. Using the touchscreen, 
Press the patient ID. Select Shift to toggle from alpha to numeric as required. When the patient ID number has been manually entered, check for accuracy and press Enter. The patient's ID is now written into the SmartGuard memory tag, and no additional scanning or manual entry of the ID is required. We recommend placing the patient ID label directly on the SmartGuard and keeping the SmartGuard at the patient's bedside. To begin the measurement, position the pupillometer with the smart guard at a right angle to the patient's axis of vision, minimizing any tilting of the device. Remember, the pupillometer right and left buttons are oriented to the patient's eye being measured. Press and hold either the right or left button until the eye is centered on the touchscreen and the display shows a green circle around the pupil. Once the green circle appears, Release the button and hold the NPI 200 in place for approximately 3 seconds until the result screen is displayed. Repeat the measurement for the patient's other eye to complete the bilateral pupil exam. When the bilateral pupil exam is complete, the NPI 200 measurement results will be displayed in yellow for the left eye and in green for the right eye. Using the touchscreen or keypad, select page 1, 1 2, or 2, 2 2, to display the results of the pupil measurement parameters and pupillary light reflex waveform. The Neurological Pupil Index, or NPI, is a numerical expression of pupil reactivity, providing a numerical value which can be trended over time for changes, just like other vital signs. Now, instead of guessing that a pupil is reacting as brisk, sluggish, or non-reactive, pupil reactivity is expressed numerically, as NPI. Using the NPI Pupil Reactivity Assessment Scale, pupil reactivity is measured on a scale of 0 to 4.9. The closer the NPI is to 4.9, the more brisk the pupil response. As the number declines, the pupil is becoming more sluggish. An NPI of 3 or higher is considered a normal or brisk response, while an NPI less than 3 is considered an abnormal or sluggish response. An NPI of zero signifies a non-reactive pupil or an atypical response. Pupil size is displayed to the hundredths. The pupillary light reflex waveform, or PLR, is displayed for both the left and right pupils. By pressing the 1 slash 2 button at the bottom of the screen, you can advance to Results Page 2, which shows additional measurements including Minimum Pupil Diameter, change in pupil size, constriction velocity, maximum constriction velocity, latency, and dilation velocity. From the results screen, while patient data is displayed, a video playback of the pupil response can be accessed by pressing the green arrow button on the touch screen. The pupillometer will store and display only the video from the last measurement. After taking a measurement, you can return to the home screen of the pupillometer by pushing either the right or left button on the keypad. Automated pupillometry provides accurate, reliable, and objective pupil measurement independent of the examiner. By removing subjectivity from pupillary evaluation, the NPI 200 pupillometer provides benefits to clinicians and patients through its ability to detect subtle pupil changes and to trend these changes over time, improving patient care. For more information about the NPI 200 pupillometer system, including instructions for use, cleaning instructions, and clinical publications pertaining to pupillometry, please go to our website at neuroptics.com.